still popping in red because it's still the week of love. Romantic videos, heartfelt captions, and loved up pictures were all over the timeline yesterday with the association of God Wayne's saturates in the comment section. Now to all single people who survived the pressure of Valentine's Day, I celebrate you and wish you healthy love in the nearest future. Welcome to Wednesday on NC Trends. My name is Shion Bankoli. So this year's Valentine seemed very special because as women were raising the bar, men were intensifying their efforts in raising the standard. A couple of women posted that they pampered their partners by taking them on special outings and taking care of the bills. Go you! And just when we thought these couples were done pressing our necks, Nigerian influencers, Pamilari and senior man OA posted pictures of billboards mounted in Ikeja, Lagos to celebrate their partners. There you go. Pamilari posted it with the caption, Last year single, this year married, Happy Valentine's Day, Mrs. Adegoki. And his comment section has been on fire. Let's check out some of them. Hafsa says, you people are raising the bar too high now. It's so hard to keep up. You know what? Calm down. No pressure. If you can't keep up, do what you can afford. And Dami of Canada says, ah, small Valentine, you not carry and rich billboard. God, am I a stone? You are not a stone. You are Dami of Canada. <laughs> and this one says, now today, singleness pay me pass. Eh, yeah. Sorry, Steven. You will not be single by next year, Valentine's. Hopefully. Now, the hashtag end anglophone crisis has been trending in Cameroon following the Cameroon Development Corporation CDC attack against civilians in Tico last weekend. Separatist group Ambazonia Governing Council claimed responsibility for the attack that killed five civilians and injured dozens of others. According to them, it will serve as a lesson to the Republic of Cameroon, which likes to bribe other separatist leaders to allow the CDC to continue operating. Now, this incident has sparked outrage among Cameroonians on social media. Let's now take to Twitter to see some of their tweets. Miss P says, terrible and unfortunate. We are tired of these tragedies. Ceasefire and dialogue needed to end this war. To the Cameroon government, your policies and stance are a danger to every innocent civilian in southern Cameroon. Stop the war and end Anglophone crisis. Another comment now from Emerson and Neke. As with the Kumba massacre, the perpetrators of this barbaric attack on CDC workers will suspiciously disappear and the public will slowly forget bad governance. And another tweet from Rebecca reads, The CDC attack in Tico against civilians is barbaric. Everything should be done to bring the culprits to justice. May the souls of the departed rest in peace. Speedy recovery to the injured. Hashtag end anglophone crisis. And in Kenya... The chairperson of President William Ruto's Council of Economic Advisors, David Indy, has been the major topic of conversation on Twitter after an interview last night where he said that the Kenyan economy was headed to its collapse stage before the Kenya Kwanzaa government took over. People may not appreciate the fact that we were actually headed where Ghana is, on the way to where Sri Lanka went before, Indy said during the interview. He cited the debt in the country and the weakening currency as some of the indicators of financial deflation in the country. And while some Kenyans sort of agree with him, others have been calling him out on the Bird app. Let's check them out. This one says, if David Indy is the chairperson of Economic Advisory Council in the office of president, then Kenyans should embrace themselves for tough times. He has no solution for our healing economy. He's coming with blame games instead of tactical solutions. Kutawa says, isn't the president he is advising now the same one who was a deputy in the Jubilee government? <laughs> People should take responsibility, please. Don't point fingers where you were actually part of that government. And this comment says, but it was Nabi on TV and on the campaign trail promising all this with his brother Bungas, Bongisa, including the Stadia. So what happened? Wow, well, the change of narrative. Well, that is all for tonight on NC Trends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, New Central TV, and visit our website for more trending stories. My name is Shion Bankoli. Have a good night.